This game is for you, the fan. You want the action to flow, the bat on the ball, and carrying on the base paths. This is the game we all want to see. Get the ball, pitch the ball. Yeah, it sure is. Actor Brian Cranston is excited for the changes to Major League Baseball. Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Put me in, Coach. Tomorrow is opening day for the league. All 30 teams returning to action. And as Cranston just mentioned, fans may notice some big changes in how the game is played. I'm going to give you a little run-through. First up, the pitch clock. Here's how it's going to work. Pitchers will have 15 seconds to set and deliver, 20 seconds when a runner is on base. And batters, they must be ready to hit by the time that clock reaches 8 seconds. Second, goodbye infield shift, good riddance. That means two players must, must be on either side of the bag in the infield. You can no longer move your infielders to the outfield or the other side of the infield to try to take away hits. And finally, the bases themselves are actually getting a little bit bigger, three inches on either side to be exact. And those changes all together have one goal in mind, to add more action to the game, more hits, more stolen bases, and speeding up the pace of play. And they come as Major League Baseball celebrates record-setting revenue last year. And we are joined by the commissioner, Ma Rob Manfred, to talk about all this. Thank you very much for being here, commissioner. Yay. Glad to be here. Uh, this is an exciting day for me. I don't know about yeah. my colleagues over here, but we have to get them on the baseball train. What you talking about, <laughs> What you talking about? Uh, <laughs> these changes, I I've seen them in preseason play. Uh, I think they're fantastic. Uh, I think they make the game quick and athletic the way I remember it being in the 80s and 90s watching it on TV jumping around on my couch at home what was the impetus for you guys when did you finally say we got to do this I don't care who's opposed mm. well this was kind of a long-term project but it began with fan research um, we noticed the game was changing on the field uh, we went to our fans we solicited their views and um, it was a very clear indication from fans that they wanted a game with more action better pace, um, less reliance on strikeouts and home runs, and m maybe most important, focusing on the athleticism of our great players. You've got unbelievable middle infielders in baseball that can do incredible things, but yep. you've got the big data crunching telling everyone where to stand, and instead of letting a, a guy play, they just go stand on the spot and hold their glove up. And then the other thing that seems to have happened is pitchers are throwing so hard, mm -hmm. which is amazing to watch. But when they have unlimited time to walk around and reload the cannon, right. no one hits it, and it's boring. We think the changes um, work together in order to promote getting the ball in play, giving fans um, more action, less downtime in the game, um, and overall, overall, producing a game um, that looks like the game that most of us grew up with. We don't think we're changing the game. We think we're restoring the game. Yeah, Ricky Henderson, Ozzie Smith, those, those players of the 80s and 90s, I want that game back. I'm, I'm What's so the happy. reaction from the players? It, it, number one, good on you for listening to fans who, who said something, because a lot of people think, well, you can feel the way you feel, but this is what we're going to do. So good on you for listening. What are the players saying to you about this? Our players have been amazingly positive about the changes. Did that surprise you? It, it, did. it did. It did. I think change is difficult yes. for players. You know, they've reached a pinnacle. You know, it's so hard to become a major league player. Any change causes uncertainty. Is it going to affect my performance? I think they, as they've gotten used to the rules, um, they, they like mm -hmm. the fact that the game moves along better, that there's more action. Um, and, you know, we've tried to be um, receptive to their input and have made adjustments around the edges um, to, to deal with things that, frankly, only players would understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob, I want to get your thoughts on the diversity in the game. There was a report in the early 90s that black or African-American players made up around 18 percent. Last year, that was all the way down to seven. And mm -hmm. it seems like that number is starting to get lower and lower. What do you believe is the main issue here? When you have black athletes that could be one hell of a baseball player choosing to go play other sports, sometimes a sport like football, that you might not last as long and you might face more criticism, not, might not make as much money, but they're walking away from a beautiful sport like baseball. Well, I, I, our focus um, has really been on providing 
playing opportunities in places where they often were not available. We've invested heavily in youth programming and playing opportunities in underserved areas. And frankly, it's one of the best returns on investment anywhere in our business. Last year, for example, for the first time ever, four out of our first tri five draft picks were African American. Mm -hmm. And every single one of those draft picks came out of one of the programs that we're running around wow. the country. So it is a place where you can make a difference if you put some money into providing people with opportunities. Mm -hmm. Uh, baseball's got uh, a Hall of Famer named Pete Rose who is not a Hall of Famer because he gambled on his own team. And now legalized sports gambling has taken over uh, pro sports. H how is it changing the game of baseball? It's a good question, Are you Tony. worried? It's a good question. Well, I, I think that um, it's important that um, all of our rules are designed to make sure that sports betting doesn't change the game of baseball, that it can't have any effect on the play of the game on the field, and there are special rules that apply to players, employees, field managers. Um, from a business perspective, there is a business there. We have a large data business um, that, that is significant. It's also significant in terms of sponsorship and, and, and other lines of our business. Yeah, when Tony started, he was saying, you know, about Nate and I, I have s sometimes thought it's a little dry, a little dry. long. This is the new improved baseball But, but I've game. actually been to games. I've actually been to games. And when you go to the park, the, in, the infield experience is really, really nice. I love the food. I love the camaraderie. It really is a good experience. I will say that. Marcus Stroman was here and he said, people that say baseball is boring, I look at them like they've lost their minds. Baseball <laughs> is fascinating. If you know the game, you know that there's always something going on. That's right. You clearly love this game, too. Why? I, look, I think baseball um, occupies a unique spot in our culture. There, there's something about the association um, that Americans have with our game that's special. Um, and I do believe the game has characteristics that are really important um, to Americans. There's certain values embedded in it. Mm -hmm. You have to stick to it. It's a very hard game. Teamwork. It's a subtle game, teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, and, you, you know, I grew up a fan and probably and a bigger fan, a fan today than we have, ever. We have a countdown clock ready just for you, Commissioner. Okay. 20 seconds on the clock. First thing that comes to your mind. Your favorite morning show? No. No. <laughs> no. Favorite player of all time? Mickey Mantle. Ooh. Favorite ballpark food? Hot dog. Easy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> favorite baseball memory? Uh, probably my first game, 1968 Yankee Stadium. Mickey Mantle hit two home Ooh. runs. Wow. That's a good one. Oh, that's great. If, pocket. if you were an MLB player, do you play, by the way? I played Little League and okay. was not very good, Gail. <laughs> if you were, what would your walk-up song be? I'm oh, Thunder sexy. Road. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too sexy from Thunderbird, Bruce Springsteen. You could never go wrong. And if you're having, oh. oh, that was my bad because I talked. I want you to answer this. If you have a dinner party, what three baseball people would you invite, dead or alive? Just well, three. Uh, you know, Mickey Mantle's yes. easy. Um, I think Commissioner Landis, I think he'd be an interesting okay. character. Um, and it would have to be one of today's players, maybe Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh, yeah. the kid! <laughs> Very nice. Rob, you knocked it out the park. Thank Nicely you. Done. Thank you. All right, thank All you. Right. Congrats, congrats. Thank you.